Africa is known for its rich and diverse fauna. Many species of mammals live in Africa, many of which are iconic. There are more than 1,100 species of mammals living in Africa. In this episode, we will learn about giant elephants. Ele elephants are mammals of the family Elephantidae and are the largest land animals today. Three species are currently recognized, the African bush elephant, the African forest elephant, and the Asian elephant. They are one of the most recognizable animals worldwide. Many of us have seen them in zoos, and some of us have even been lucky enough to catch a glimpse of them in their natural habitat. However, without the help of conservationists and charities, elephants could be completely wiped out within decades. Once common throughout Africa and Asia, elephant populations have experienced a significant decline over the past century. The biggest threat to African elephants is poaching for the illegal ivory trade, while Asian elephant populations are most at risk of decline due to habitat loss, leading to human conflict with elephants. The, the African elephant is the largest land animal on Earth. They are slightly larger than their Asian cousins and can be identified by their larger ears that look a bit like the African continent. African elephants have much larger ears, which are used to dissipate body heat. Asian elephants have rounder and smaller ears. Although they have long been grouped as one species, scientists have determined that there are two species of African elephants, savanna elephant and African forest elephant, both of which are at risk of extinction. The African savanna elephant is the larger animal that roams the plains of sub-Saharan Africa, while the African forest elephant is the smaller animal that inhabits the forests of Central and West Africa. The International Union for Conservation of Nature lists the African savanna elephant as endangered and the African forest elephant as critically endangered. African elephants are keystone species, which means they play an important role in their ecosystem. Also known as ecosystem engineers, elephants shape their habitats in many ways. During the dry season, they use their tusks to dig dry riverbeds and create watering holes that many animals can drink. Their droppings are filled with seeds, which help plants spread throughout the environment, and this is also a pretty good habitat for dung beetles. In the forest, they feed on trees and shrubs that provide paths for smaller animals to move through, and in the savanna they uproot trees and eat young trees, helping to keep the landscape open for zebras and other delta animals to evolve. The size of adult elephants also varies. The African savanna, or bush elephant, Loxodonta africana, weighs up to 7 tons and is 3 to 3.4 meters, 9 ft to 11 feet, tall at the shoulder. The African forest elephant, Loxodonta cyclitis, which lives in the rainforest, was recognized as a separate species in 2000 and is smaller than the savanna elephant. It has slender, downward-facing tusks. They weigh about 2.3 tons and are about 2.4 meters, 8 ft, tall at the shoulder. The Asian elephant, Elephus maximus, weighs about 4.6 tons and has a shoulder height of about 2.6 to 2.9 m, 8 feet 7 and 9 feet 6 in.
The, the skeleton of the elephant is made up of 326 to 351 bones. The vertebrae are connected by tight joints, which limit the backbone's flexibility. African elephants have 21 pairs of ribs, while Asian elephants have 19 or 20 pairs. An, an elephant's skull is resilient enough to withstand the forces generated by the leverage of the tusks in head-to-head -head collisions. The back of the skull is flattened and spread out, creating arches that protect the brain in every direction. The cranium is particularly large and provides enough room for the attachment of muscles to support the entire head. Ele elephants are considered dichromat and they can see well in dim light but not in bright light. Elephant ears have thick bases with thin tips. The ear flaps, or pinny, contain numerous blood vessels called capillaries. Warm blood flows into the capillaries, helping to release excess body heat into the environment. This occurs when the pinny is still, and the animal can enhance the effect by flapping them. Larger ear surfaces contain more capillaries, and more heat can be released. Of all the elephants, African bush elephants live in the hottest climates, and have the largest ear flaps. Elephants are capable of hearing at low frequencies and are most sensitive at 1 kHz. The, the trunk, or proboscis, is a fusion of the nose and upper lip, although in early fetal life, the upper lip and trunk are separated. The trunk is elongated and specialized to become the elephant's most important and versatile appendage. It contains up to 150,000 separate muscle fascicles, with no bone and little fat. Elephant trunks have multiple functions, including breathing, olfaction, touching, grasping, and sound production. The animal's sense of smell may be four times as sensitive as that of a bloodhound. The trunk's ability to make powerful twisting and coiling movements allows it to collect food, wrestle with other elephants, and lift up to 350 kilograms, 770 lb. The African elephant has two finger-like extensions at the tip of the trunk that allow it to grasp and bring food to its mouth. The Asian elephant is only one and relies more on wrapping around a food item and squeezing it into its mouth. Asian elephants have more muscle coordination and can perform more complex tasks. Elephants usually have 26 teeth, the incisors, known as the tusks, 12 deciduous premolars, and 12 molars. Unlike most mammals, which grow baby teeth and then replace them with a single permanent set of adult teeth, elephants are polyphyrins that have cycles of truth rotation throughout their lives. The chewing teeth are replaced six times in a typical elephant's lifetime. T teeth are not replaced by new ones emerging from the jaws vertically as in most mammals. Instead, new teeth grow in at the back of the mouth and move forward to push out the old ones. The first chewing truth on each side of the jaw falls out when the elephant is 2 to 3 years old. The second set of chewing teeth falls out at 4 to 6 years old. The third set falls out at 9-15 years of age and set 4 lasts until 18-28 years of age. The fifth set of teeth falls out at the early 40s. The sixth, and usually final, set must last the elephant the rest of its life. The, the tusks of an elephant are modified second incisors in the upper jaw. They replace deciduous milk teeth at 6-12 months of age and grow continuously at about 17 centimeters, 7 in, a year. A newly developed tusk has a smooth enamel cap that eventually wears off. The dentine is known as ivory and its cross-section consists of crisscrossing line patterns, known as engine turning, which create diamond-shaped areas. As a piece of living tissue, a tusk is relatively soft, it is as hard as the mineral calcite. Much of the tusk can be seen outside, the rest is in a socket in the skull. Like humans, who are typically right or left-handed, elephants are usually right or left tusked. The dominant tusk, called the master tusk, is generally more worn down, as it is shorter with a rounder tip. 
For the African elephants, tusks are present in both males and females, and are around the same length in both sexes, reaching up to 300 centimeters, 9 feet 10 in, but those of males tend to be thicker. In earlier times, elephant tusks weighing over 200 pounds, more than 90 kilograms, were not uncommon, though it is rare today to see any over 100 pounds, 45 kg. In, in the Asian species, only the males have large tusks. Female Asians have very small tusks, or none at all. Tuskless males exist and are particularly common among Sri Lankan elephants. Asian males can have tusks as long as Africans, but they are usually slimmer and lighter. The largest recorded was 302 centimeters, 9 feet 11 in, long and weighed 39 kilograms, 86 lb. Hunting for elephant ivory in Africa and Asia has led to natural selection for shorter tusks and tusklessness. An elephant skin is generally very tough, at 2.5 centimeters, 1 in, thick on the back and parts of the head. An elephant uses mud as a sunscreen, protecting its skin from ultraviolet light. Although tough, an elephant's skin is very sensitive. Without regular mud baths to protect it from burning, insect bites and moisture loss, an elephant's skin suffers serious damage. After bathing, the elephant will usually use its trunk to blow dust onto its body and this dries into a protective crust. Fast-moving elephants appear to run with their front legs, but walk with their hind legs and can reach a top speed of 25 km per hour, 16 mph. Elephants are capable swimmers. They have been recorded swimming for up to 6 hours without touching the bottom, and have swum as far as 48 km, 30 mi, at a stretch and at speeds of up to 2.1 km per hour, 1 mph. Elephants are homeotherms, and maintain their average body temperature at 36 degrees Celsius, with minimum 35.2 degrees Celsius during cool season, and maximum 38.0 degrees Celsius during hot dry season. Sweat glands are absent in the elephant's skin, but water diffuses through the skin, allowing cooling by evaporative loss. The African bush elephant can be found in habitats as diverse as dry savannas, deserts, marshes, and lake shores, and in elevations from sea level to mountains above the snow line. Forest elephants mainly live in equatorial forests but will enter gallery forests and ecodones between forests and savannas. Asian elephants prefer areas with a mix of grasses, low woody plants, and trees primarily inhabiting dry thorn scrub forests in southern India and Sri Lanka and evergreen forests in Malaya. Every day, elephants spend about 16 hours looking for food and only sleep for about 3 to 5 hours. Adult elephants sleep standing up. Baby elephants sometimes sleep lying down. Elephants are big, but that doesn't stop them from becoming good swimmers. They love to swim and can even swim in the sea. Their favorite time of day is when they take a mud bath. The mud protects the elephants from the scorching sun and keeps them cool and away from nasty bugs. The size of an adult elephant is extremely large, which means that other than humans, there are few animals that can harm it. And to fit its great body, it needs a lot of food. Each adult elephant eats about 150 kilograms, 300 lb, of grass, twigs, leaves, fruit, and 40 l, 11 US gal, of water in a day.
elephants like to blend in with the herd living next to each other, in which the leader elephant is the oldest female elephant who will take the role of master. It leads the herd to find water and food. This elephant is followed by baby elephants and adult female elephants. Sometimes the herd is separated, some younger elephants leaving the herd with other elephants. But these small flocks still have a close relationship with their original family and can return for a very short time. Young Malay elephants, about 12 years old, live alone or with other Malay elephants. The number of members in the herd is very variable. When elephant families gather, they will become elephant herds consisting of hundreds of members. Elephants communicate by touch, smell, or using their trunks and ears to signal. The squeal of elephants echoed far away. Elephants squealed to call each other to gather in herds. G gestation in elephants typically lasts around two years with interbirth interval usually lasting four to five years. Births tend to take place during the wet season. Calves are born 85 centimeters, 33 in, tall and weigh around 120 kilograms. 260 lb. Typically, only a single young is born, but twins sometimes occur. The, the oldest recorded elephant is Ling Wang, an Asian elephant, who died in 2003 at the ripe old age of 86. The, the African bush elephant can be found in habitats as diverse as dry savannas, deserts, marshes, and lake shores and in elevations from sea level to mountains above the snow line. Forest elephants mainly live in equatorial forests but will enter gallery forests and ecodones between forests and savannas. Asian elephants prefer areas with a mix of grasses, low woody plants, and trees, primarily inhabiting dry thorn scrub forests in southern India and Sri Lanka and evergreen forests in Malaya. Both males and family groups typically move 10-20 km, 6-12 mi, a day, but distances as far as 90-180 km, 56-112 mi, have been recorded in the Atosha region of Namibia. Elephants go on seasonal migrations in search of food, water, minerals, and mates. Elephants are highly sensitive and caring animals, much like humans. If a baby elephant cries, the herd will touch and caress the baby with their trunks to soothe it. They are highly intelligent animals with complex emotions, feelings, compassion and self-awareness. Elephants are one of very few species to recognize themselves in a mirror. Like humans, elephants mourn the death of their loved ones. They gently touch and caress the skull of deceased loved ones with their trunks and they will pause for several minutes of silence in the place where their loved one dies, even several years after their death. An elephant never forgets. Female elephants spend their entire lives in tight-knit matrilineal family groups, some of which are made up of more than 10 members, including three mothers and their dependent offspring, and are led by the matriarch which is often the eldest female. She remains leader of the group until death or if she no longer has the energy for the role. T Touching is an important form of communication among elephants. Individuals greet each other by stroking or wrapping their trunks, the latter also occurs during mild competition. Older elephants use trunk slaps, kicks, and shoves to discipline younger ones. Individuals of any age and sex will touch each other's mouths, temporal glands, and genitals, particularly during meetings or when excited. This allows individuals to pick up chemical cues. Touching is especially important for mother-calf communication. When moving, elephant mothers will touch their calves with their trunks or feet one side by side or with their tails if the calf is behind them. If a calf wants to rest, it will press against its mother's front legs and when it wants to suckle, it will touch her breast or leg.
Elephants exhibit mirror self-recognition, an indication of self-awareness and cognition that has also been demonstrated in some apes and dolphins. One study of a captive female Asian elephant suggested the animal was capable of learning and distinguishing between several visual and semacoustic discrimination pairs. This individual was even able to score a high accuracy rating when retested with the same visual pairs a year later. African bush elephants were listed as endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, in 2021, and African forest elephants were listed as critically endangered in the same year. The, the poaching of elephants for their ivory, meat and hides has been one of the major threats to their existence. The, the ban allowed the elephant to recover in parts of Africa. In January 2012, 650 elephants in Bubanjuna National Park, Cameroon, were killed by Chadian raiders. This has been called one of the worst concentrated killings since the ivory ban. Asian elephants are potentially less vulnerable to the ivory trade, as females usually lack tusks. Still, members of the species have been killed for their ivory in some areas, such as Periyar National Park in India. Other threats to elephants include habitat destruction and fragmentation. The Asian elephant lives in areas with some of the highest human populations and may be confined to small islands of forest among human-dominated landscapes. Elephants commonly trample and consume crops, which contributes to conflicts with humans, and both elephants and humans have died by the hundreds as a result. Mitigating these conflicts is important for conservation. One proposed solution is the protection of wildlife corridors which gave the animals greater space and maintain the long-term viability of large populations. In individuals of the Asian species have been often trained as working animals. Asian elephants perform tasks such as hauling loads into remote areas, moving logs to rivers and roads, transporting tourists around national parks, pulling wagons, and leading religious processions. In, in many cultures, elephants represent strength, power, wisdom, longevity, stamina, leadership, sociability, nurturance and loyalty. Elephants have been represented in art since Paleolithic times. Africa, in particular, contains many rock paintings and engravings of the animals, especially in the Sahara and Southern Africa. In Asia, the animals are depicted as motifs in Hindu and Buddhist shrines and temples. Animals are indeed more ancient, more complex, and in many ways more sophisticated than man. In terms of nature they are truly more perfect because they remain within the ordered scheme of nature and live as nature intended. They are different to us, honed by natural selection over millennia so they should not be patronized, but rather respected and revered. And of all the animals, perhaps the most respected and revered should be the elephant, for not only is it the largest land mammal on earth, but also the most emotionally human.